What's going on guys? Welcome back. I have another top 50 nine hole course in the world for you guys today. This is actually, we're down to the top three now. So this is number three on the list. We are playing Culver Academics Golf Course in Culver, Indiana. Um, probably a lot warmer in Indiana than it is here right now. But um, we're going to give it a go. Only two tee box options, men's and women's. So we're playing the men's of course, but hopefully that means we'll be able to score a little bit better. Um, like always, Garmin Approach R10, Country Club Elite Mat, my DIY stance uh, mat over here, tiles, whatever you want to call them, 10 by 7 nets, Home Tee Hero, and then today I'm going with the Callaway Super Soft Balls, um, a little bit higher quality, softer balls here, especially when it's cold out. It's about 30 degrees out here right now, um, compared to the last two vlogs that I did with the, uh, the poor or lesser quality, I guess you call them cheaper and more firm uh, nitro pulsar balls. So they just did feel better. Um, definitely softer off the club when I was doing my warm up. So going with the metal dots or squares, whatever you want to call them. I got two balls, they're both the same. So um, using the metallic dots, hopefully improve some accuracy with the R10 um, and still going with the 100 feet off of the altitude. So we're at um, 5,200 feet, 65% uh, humidity and 85 degrees for the weather settings. The uh, metallic dots seem to help with some of the uh, the wedges and then some of the, the distances on the longer clubs, especially like the driver and the uh, like hybrids and long irons, bringing down that spin so you get some more distance. So I feel like uh, we're getting close to keeping the settings here pretty close, but we'll see. We're gonna get started. Um, first hole, we've got a par five, 449 yards. It's snowing here. Are you in Indiana? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not warmer there. Um, we're gonna aim out here, kind of towards the middle. See if we can turn one over a little bit. I apologize for the sniffles and blowing my nose and whatnot, but it is what it is when it's 30 degrees out here. I got the the warm weather leggings and the flannel, as you can see. Hopefully it'll keep the back warm, keep the swing speed somewhat elevated. Let's see, get off to a good start here with the driver. Decent strike, definitely way better feel with these off the club it's still cold so they're still kind of firmer than they would be on like a summer day we'll take that all day 276 compared to those other ones um those nitro balls like i said with the i think i'm not sure the i know the nitros are a two-piece ball i'm not sure if these chrome softs or super softs whatever they are are two or three piece but definitely softer and uh like i mentioned last time when it's cold out if you guys have ever played in the cold feels like you're kind of hidden. They just get rock hard. It feels like you're hitting rocks off the club. So these have some better feel. Should uh, help with some scoring, I would think, just a little bit. But second shot, 216, down five. Um, so I'm gonna go four iron. We'll see what happens. With the weather and everything, we'll see how some of these, the first couple holes go. If I st keep leaving things short because the temperature and whatnot, I might have to start clubbing up and getting used to that for these colder weather months but let's see if we can get a decent strike on a four iron usually about 210 215 struck a decent started a little left I would think that would fade let's see what we get yardage wise and we were right there, just faded too much right. 220, honestly, that might have been uh, a little long for what I actually hit. But again, like I mentioned with the weather settings, you gotta kind of find a happy medium. So maybe some of the longer clubs are actually a little bit longer, but with the settings that I have, you kind of need to find a happy medium to where the wedges are going uh, somewhat within the ballpark distance too. So maybe the wedges are still a little bit short, maybe the longer irons and the longer clubs are maybe a little bit long, but everything in between should be within the ballpark, I would think. But um, 
Third shot, par five, kind of a drop to stroke there, but we got 16 yards left, 10%, so we'll call it another two. We need about 18. I'm gonna go 60 degree, see if we can get this on the green for a par, or if we get inside that inner circle, it'll be a bird to start it off. Just to note too, I mentioned it on the other one, but um, from what I've seen, people doing different kinds of testing. I haven't experimented a whole lot with these metallic strips or dots or tape, whatever you want to call it, but um, I have two dots on them. One is directly on the mat and the other one is facing straight up. That seems to be um, the best configuration with the dots from what people have said for the R10. And I just missed the net completely. That was horrendous. That was complete shank with a 60 degree. You don't see that very often. That was generous by the R10. That was a terrible shot, but I think that might have been the first time I've ever missed the net with a wedge. It might have actually been the first time ever I've missed the net left or right on any club. That was horrendous. I guess on to ball number two now. At least it didn't go too far back. I'll be able to find that, I think. I have to look for that. Yeah, I can see it. I'm actually going to grab that now just so I don't have to. All right, after that little lost and found mission, we're back. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'm still kind of in shock that I just missed the net completely at 60 degree, but it is what it is. We're even through one. Second hole, we get a par three, 180 up three. So we're at 183. I think I'm gonna go seven iron. Usually seven's about 180. Six iron's about 190. Again, we'll see distance wise. Got some decent distance on that four iron. I don't know if that will continue or not. This flannel is pretty warm, so the back feels all right as of right now. Ah, I pulled it left. I don't know, most likely, it's definitely left. It'll probably be short left. Uh, it's going to be a plus three for a bogey. I don't know. It could be just the difference of my swing from day to day. Um, it's actually colder out here than it was the other day, but it could also be, I'm thinking, these balls are higher quality balls. I might be getting a little more distance out of them. So um, those two shots actually seemed a little bit long. Maybe for the next round, I might decrease it one more, uh, another 100 feet. So we might be using 5,100 feet on the altitude going forward, but I'll stick with this for now. Um, all right, we're one over through two. Third hole, par three, 175, down eight. So we're looking at 167. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Eight iron is usually around 170, 175 or so on a good day. Again, because of the weather out here and just the balls in general, it feels like with these softer, the softer field balls, I'm compressing the ball more. It's probably equating to a little more distance, a little more pop off the club, which is why I'm seeing some longer readings compared to what I was using the past two rounds. Uh, that one was a little bit heavy, also left. Yep, short left. Oh, pin high left, but. We got 18 yards left. 
We're gonna go, I guess we'll go 60 degree again, see if I can actually keep it into the net. We got 18 yards, probably add another two, so we're looking right around 20. It was into the net, but I almost did it again. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm coming across the ball with these wedges. That was pretty far right again. Plus two. four we're two over we got to get a couple birds here claw back some of that score 293 we're hitting up nine so I'm gonna aim up here see if I can draw one I definitely don't think we'll be hitting it 299 to where we're aimed but I think that's a decent line right there Another decent strike, a little bit lower on the club face on that one, but start a little right, that should turn over left. Definitely didn't clobber it, so we might be looking at a bunker shot. Uh, 262 into the bunker, but is where we were aimed, so we got a short wedge shot. Unfortunately, we're in the bunker, and it says 20%, but like I've said in the past, it's gonna be, what's the ball speed? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's probably my driver's probably around 150, 160, something like that. Um, I could do a driving range session after and let you know for sure. Obviously it varies day to day and it varies um, the weather out here, how my back's feeling and the balls that I'm using. But I think it's generally in that, in that area. And usually my club speed is around um, anywhere from, the highest I've ever read it was uh, 127 I think but usually on course it's anywhere from like 100 to 115 in that general area if I really step on one maybe 120 but those are few and far between um, second shot here out of the bunker we got 32 up to so we're at 34 and then 20% on that would be call it six seven yards 40% would be 14 so I'm gonna play it closer to that so we're at 34, 44, just over 50 yards. I think you need right around 50. I'm gonna go, gonna go 52 degree. I don't know if I got enough on that. It was straight but I didn't swing super hard on that. We'll see how it plays out of that bunker. Ooh, not bad. Um, and to the point on the ball speed, um, I don't, lately I just come out here, um, I did more of the driving range before on the R10 and Home T Hero and the Golf app, et cetera, um, when I first got it, but lately, I would say for the past few months, I usually just play courses out here and that 127 mile an hour ball speed read that I got, or uh, swing speed rather, the 127 was actually at a, a like commercial indoor uh, golf simulator place and it was with a Unicor. So I don't know, take that for what it's worth. If that's more or less accurate, I don't know. But All right, we clawed one back, we're one over, fifth hole, par five. Aim right up here. Been turning them over, so maybe we'll go right side right there.
basically the same thing again that one started a little bit closer to the middle of the net three decent swings though with the driver Um, second shot here, we got 223 down five. Hmm. I guess I'll go four iron again. Last time I hit that like 220. It's either between a four iron or five hybrid. Five hybrid might be too much, so we'll see what we can do here with the four iron. Oh, that's not gonna get there. Caught that real heavy and left. Should have hit the five hybrid with that swing. All right, 19 yards left, we're in the fairway. I think 207 was probably generous yardage on that one. But again, just trying to find that happy medium between all the clubs. Unfortunately, I can't switch the altitude and settings and everything in between shots, so. That one I pulled left, but at least it was into the net. Still in disbelief I did that. Plus one, we got another bird. I think I can look at the metrics on here. On this driver swing, if I can get back here quick enough, I'll click on the metrics and it should be able to show me what the ball speed was for this next driver swing. I mean, I'm kind of curious now myself. We're gonna aim up here, six hole par four, we're even now. Aim up there. Hopefully draw one back towards the middle. because the phone's further away now. I think I'm gonna hit this if it's a decent drive. Just drop my club and then go to the phone so I can pull up the metrics before it moves on to the next shot. If we hit a good one here. That one was higher on the club face. It was straight, though. Oh, and it didn't pick it up. I know, I mentioned in the other videos, I know um, the R10 with using the metallic dots sometimes, or, yeah, I guess sometimes, definitely more frequently than before, it has a problem picking up the club data. I'm not sure if that also contributes these metallic dots contribute to more frequent misreads I don't know usually I don't have any issues with the, uh, the driver picking it up I'm gonna make sure it just didn't register late so I don't bomb one all right we're still on the tee at that ball speed that was horrendous I was high on the face off the toe and way right and of course it'll probably pick that one up and it does what's going on Brooke MCB all right well we gotta love this right behind a tree I think no matter what I do here it's gonna hit this tree I have well, I guess I got a little bit of a space here for a layup I'm gonna do a little punch shot out here take my medicine I guess I could go that way too but asking for trouble out there I could be out of bounds so right there we still might hit the tree no matter what but at least we won't be off just the the trunk of the tree and bounce back 
right there is 55 yards. I'm gonna do a little punch eight iron, choke it down, play it back in my stance, cut off the follow through. A little bit higher than I would have liked, but that's not bad. It was straight. Hopefully it gets under and by that tree. We're out somewhere out in the fairway. Ooh, must have came off too clean into the bunker, unfortunately. Um, all right, now we've got our guessing game of how this is going to play out of the bunker. Again, it says 20%, but in my experience, it plays a good amount longer than that. So we're at 102, up two, so we're at 104. 20% on that would be um, 20 yards. Could, I think I'm gonna play it closer to 30 yards on top of that, so we're looking at like 134 or 135, 140, something like that. I think I'm gonna go full pitching wedge and see what happens. that a little heavy and left we'll see how it plays out of the bunker but I have a feeling that might be short left and it is short left but we made it on bogey unfortunately gave one back there seventh hole par four Let's see if I can actually hit a good drive and look at the ball speed we're gonna aim up here. I don't love that tree on the left, but hopefully we can start one a little bit right of that. Draw it around it a little bit. Finally remember to order some more of these tees. I'm down to the last maybe 15 or 20 or so, and half of them have the prongs broken off on the top. But Amazon Prime should be here in a couple days. That one was lower on the cliff face and off the heel, but should be out there maybe 250, 260. Not quite. 245. Let's see if I can look at the metrics on this. Um, club speed 107, ball speed 143. That one wasn't the best contact or the best speed, but um, yeah, it's generally what I would expect. Usually, if I really hit one good, probably it's, I get it closer to 115, 120 maybe, and that ball speed probably goes up by um, maybe 10 miles an hour or so, something like that. So I'm looking at 150, 160 when I hit a good. But again, that one was only 245. The other ones that I hit before were probably quicker. That were like 270 or whatever those other ones were earlier. Um, second shot, we've got 156 up five. So we're looking at 161. Um, I think I'm gonna go strong nine. Usually nine iron, smooth swing is about, stock nine is like 155, sometimes 160 and then 8 iron, I get into that 170, 175 range, so we'll see what happens. Try to play this a little bit back in my stance, have a little bit lower ball flight. Uh, decent contact, but I popped it up. Should still be on the green, I would think, but that might be front side. And it is. All right, 
eighth hole, par three. 169, nice. Down four, we're at 165. Right between a nine and an eight. This time I'm gonna go eight. Heavy again. I felt like that one was going left, so that's likely going to be short left. We'll see. Ooh, long left. I don't know about that. That might have been generous again. I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the launch angle that's picking it up from the R10. That one definitely was a little bit heavy. But sometimes slight misreads, sometimes I feel like I don't hit them great and they go longer and other times I feel like I hit them good and they come up short, so. All right, ninth and final hole here, par five. We've got 467, dog leg right by the looks of it. We're gonna aim up here, down nine yards. This is gonna go about, play about 10 yards uh, further wherever we hit this. Be curious if I feel like I swing and hit one a little bit better. I might take a look at the ball speed again. From what I've seen from all the comparison videos, the R10 does a really good job picking up ball speed. Not quite as good with club speed, but uh, ball speed even compared to literally like the gold standard models against uh, Trackman GC quads, the uh, the R10's right there within like a mile an hour or two of ball speed, which is pretty impressive. Ah, that one wasn't good. I don't want to look at that one. That was high on the club face. That's not going to go very far. worse than the other one all right we got 234 just in the fairway so no reduction there and we're down five so we're looking at 229 I'm gonna go five hybrid and see if we can get it there usually play this to about 220 230 still kind of in the experimental mode with the uh, metallic dot so we'll see it feels like um, that some of these shots are longer than they should be, so. Could just be an off day for the R10. Maybe I need to decrease the elevation just a little bit more, or again, just the difference between the two balls that I've been using. Struck it pretty good, but that was definitely a slice. It's gonna be right side. Hopefully it catches the right side of the green. Nope. So that one was probably pretty accurate. I didn't hit that one great. And it, the slice probably killed some distance. So 210 was probably pretty accurate on that. So maybe the other ones were just slight misreads and it was a little more generous yardage wise. But regardless, third shot here in the par five. See if we can stick this green. We got 34 yards, 10%. We'll call it another three, four yards. So we're looking at 37, 38 yards. I'm gonna go 56 degree. That was a tad thin, it might be a little long, but that should be on the green and relatively close. That was straight. Yep, just a little long. See, now that I think was really accurate with the uh, these metallic dots. And it did feel like before using these that the uh, my wedges were shorter than they really were when I compared to what it felt like and what I saw on course. So again, I guess you gotta kinda, you gotta pick and choose if you'd rather have your wedges be a little bit shorter than they really are and have your longer clubs a little more accurate or um, have your, the, the opposite, have your uh, wedges come up 
um, either have your, your wedges shorter and your, your longer clubs be a little more accurate or have your wedges uh, a little bit longer or more accurate and then have your uh, the longer clubs a little bit longer. But again, I'm just trying to find a happy medium between the two. But after that brain fart trying to explain that from Culver Academics Golf Course in Culver, Indiana, we ended up with a 1 over 37. So not too bad, right around that even par we were looking for. Um, we had three bogeys, two birdies, and the rest were pars. Four out of six fairways, we'll take that. We actually driver swing was pretty good. We popped a few up, but the first three were good. Um, six out of nine greens in regulation. The irons were decent, we'll take that again. At least 50% on each of those, we want to be 75% ideally. And then 16 putts, that's not too bad either. Um, under two putts per hole. Um, obviously there's no putting, so that's just the wedges, but not too bad. For number three on the list, um, we got two more left and then I'll have to find another list or you guys are gonna have to keep giving me recommendations. And speaking of the request requests, if I can talk, I think this cold weather's getting to me. Speaking of the requests, recommendations or suggestions for the courses, um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me play maybe your local course or really any course, preferably one that I haven't played yet on the channel, but just let me know in the comments down below of the, uh, the name of the course and where it's located and I'll respond to you. There's a very high chance that I'll be able to play it and I just have a list going of uh, all the viewer and subscriber requested courses, so let me know. But we've got, what is that, 47 out of, uh, or 48 out of the top 50 courses in the books. We got two left. Um, I'm going to give them a go. Play at least one more here today. I may play both. We'll see. But um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.